In December, the Department of Homeland Security reported seizing more than 1,800 pill presses in the first 60 days of fiscal year 2024. That's October and November 2023 for those of you who are bureaucrats. At this rate, they'll intercept 10,800 illegal pill presses this fiscal year, a 66% increase over the 3,600 they caught in 2023. That points to a big uptick in illicit pill manufacturing, which is a worrying prospect for those of us concerned about medicine safety and counterfeits. Over the last eight years, fake prescription pills made with fentanyl and other dangerous drugs have flooded the U.S., and they've killed thousands of people. At the same time, American patients are getting fake medicine in places like Mexican and online pharmacies, like these bottles of Xarelto and Eliquis, which are supposed to prevent blood clots, but they could be equally deadly because they have no active ingredient in them. Last May, the Treasury Department shut down trade with and blocked the assets of companies in China that sell pill presses and counterfeit pill molds. And on January 31, eBay agreed to pay $59 million to settle charges that it violated the Controlled Substances Act by failing to meet regulations for pill press sales on its website. For its part, eBay admitted no wrongdoing. If you want to learn more about that settlement, by the way, see the Settlement Explainer blog post and video on our website. All these efforts are part of the Biden administration's fentanyl trafficking crackdown, and this piece of it, disrupting the illicit pill press market, will help protect Americans from all kinds of counterfeit medicines. PSM tracks public reports of pill press seizures in the U.S. Scan this QR code to see a map and a lot more information about the pill press problem at our website.